Hey, we're returning to Shadow of Destiny. When we took a look at this game, it was a year and a half ago. So, we'll need a refresher on what is happening in this game. Just remember, we're controlling a man with entirely too long legs. Uh, he dies. And then he has to try to figure out how. Oh, look at the time. Better hurry, he's gonna be late. But then... Just flip that hair. Still think the undead syndrome did it better. But death is not the end. What the... Oh, what's going on? What on earth could have happened? Am, am I dead? Bingo. Bingo. Who, who's there? How does it feel does it to be, be dead? dead? I... Damn it, who is this? Are you making fun of me? <laughs> Not at all. I beg your pardon if I've offended you. You are strongly fated today. You see, you are destined to die. What? But if you have the will to somehow reverse that fate by yourself, I can lend you some measure of strength. How about it? Will you deal with me? Thanks, but no thanks. Sounds too good to be true. Why? Can't you trust me? Of course not. I get it. You're the big S, the devil. In exchange for your immortal soul and all that, am I right? Your soul? Oh, please. In this day and age? <laughs> if I do have an agenda, it's that you survive. Let me think it over a bit. Of course. Of course. Go ahead. But don't keep me waiting too long. I don't much like to be left hanging. Well, what reason is there to procrastinate? You either just die here and now, or you prevent it. It's that simple. What have you got to lose? All right. I'm sorry I called you the devil. I don't want to die yet. Please, help me. All right. But I want you to be aware of something. You have to understand that the destiny that awaits you is a potent one, which means that just because you've managed to avoid death once, doesn't mean you're free of the threat. Unless you tear out its very root, destiny can't be cheated. So, coming back to life isn't the hard part, huh? Man, but that can't be helped. You're right, but that's also where your own strengths come into play. Are you ready? I'm going to give you some of my time-shifting powers. I'm going to give you this digipad, please. Use it well. Yep. 
pick it up. But it's not as though you can use it anywhere or any time you want. This will respond to phenomena that have some relevance to you as its user. As soon as it begins to respond, it's usable, and you can select the digipad by pushing on the square button. After that, you specify the destination time and enter the X button to be sent to that time, all right? You can't you solve can't the real solve problem, problem by just by using just it when you're about to die. To die. It's, it's better to make better use of it to remove the underlying the cause, cause of your death. Of your death. Oh, and oh, one, and more, one thing. more thing. Something else? Yes, yes. And it's very important. If the response begins in the time space you've traveled out to, please come back immediately. Other people and objects can be just left in another time and stay intact. But that isn't true for you as the user. If it starts to respond, you need to come back quickly, or you won't be able to get back at all. Just be careful of that. It looks like time is something even more serious than I know. Good luck. All right, let's head on out. <sighs> Sir, please wake up. Are you all right? Do you feel sick or something? Sir? Sorry, I, I fell asleep. <laughs> Dana. <laughs> Dana, that'll do. Okay. I, uh, I'll, I'll just leave what I owe for the coffee here. Hmm, two o'clock. I still can't believe what just happened. But since I have this digipad here, I guess it really did happen. I guess this is as far as I go. Can't go any further than that. Yes, that is how I usually introduce myself when I have a conversation with people. Me? A performer? Uh, you've got to be 
kidding me. Uh, but this square does get a lot of performers. You know, street performers. They get a pretty big crowd going. It's kind of nice. Yeah, big crowds are kind of nice. Sometimes. May I help you? If you need a city map, please help yourself. By the way, if you want to look at the map, just press the triangle button. Got old city map. I do like the sonic color scheme she has going on with her legs and feet. Ominous feeling. I guess this is as far as I go. Well, nothing we can do to get around this dog. I think there's a dog there. It's barking. It's what? What else can you do? Is that a dog there? Is this as far as we go? I guess this is as far as I go. It is as far as we go. This might also be as far as we go. I guess this is as far as I go. In this town, the borders are determined by the dogs. This might also be as far as we go. I guess this is as far as I go. It was as far as we went. This might also be as far as we go. I guess this is as far as I go. The social life in this town is greatly restricted just due to all of the dogs. I guess what we want is just to find a, a meaning in life and a way to prevent our own death. Just like what anyone else would want, I guess. In the case of Ike, it's a little bit more of an emergency than for a lot of people, because you know, it's kind of a uh, kind of urgent that he figure out what to do today. Most people have more time, or at least you think you have more time. Eventually, it turns out that you, maybe you didn't actually. Doesn't seem, you know, it's kind of an odd thing. Like, doesn't actually have camera control. I mean, I would have thought that by that point, like by the point this came out, it probably would have been a standard at that point. Oh, I can, like, move it to behind me. Oh, hold on. L and R bumpers do it. Because I would have, I would have thought that the the right stick was pretty standard as far as uh, how you move the camera. You know, when we're we're in when we're in the PS2 generation, like. Most games were doing that at that point.
Hmm, fortune's told. Well, I never noticed this place before. Actually, I just happened to stop by, and I was wondering if you could tell me my fortune. Am I going to die soon? For you, I will do it for free. Thanks. I really need this. Please, don't just give me the usual niceties. This is very serious for me. Don't worry. So? The fated hour is 2.30. What? Whatever I foresee, you can change. If you take no action, the fate I see will befall you for certain. But I seem to see in you the strength to defy fate itself. The power to defy fate? If, for instance, and this is only an example, your fate is to be stabbed while taking a walk after you leave this place. And this would happen if you are alone at the fated hour. But if you know what awaits you, you would find people to be with, so that you would not be by yourself, unprotected. But then what? If you are among others at the fated hour, the assassin must give up his quarry, and fate would have been defied. But a single change will affect all else that follows it. How it changes, no one can tell. There are too many threads, too many tangles. I cannot help you with what lies so far ahead. Your actions could bring even greater danger. But if fate can be changed, you should fight as hard as you can. If you can return here after the appointed hour has passed, then I will tell you the next fortune. All right. I think I can trust you. Hmm? Our thing is thinging. For a date? Do me a favor. Go away. I look strange. Mind your own business. She's much more hostile towards us this time around. Last time we were talking about how crowds are neat. Crowds can be fun. Excuse me, sir. Have we met before? Oh, right. We're, we're still asleep in here. What? Don't talk to me if you've got nothing to say. Just gonna leave this man with his spaghetti. Have you seen my 
my girl? Ooh, at the square. Oh, thank you. I'll go find her there. All right. Well, we, at least we helped someone out. Oh, hello. Uh, excuse me. Have you seen a man walking around here? I'm a man who's walking around here. Want me to come to the square at 2.30? What's going to happen in the square? A performer, maybe? Well, all right. I don't have anything else to do anyway. Well, I mean, it's a, an attempted murder is going to happen, which... That might be entertaining. Some people would probably find it to be so. Now, here's a guy with no worries. There was someone behind me. Oh, but it looks like the crowd scared him off. Oh, that fortune teller, she told me to come back. I should go look her up again. Pity we weren't just keeping an eye out for if anyone was approaching. Well, we could have seen who it was. Did my fate change? Did anything happen? You have been defying fate, haven't you? I am beginning to see a new thread, but... Ah, oh, you are still in danger. Three o'clock is now the fated hour. What? You mean I still haven't gotten to the root of the problem? If you can return here, even after the appointed hour has passed, then I will tell for you. The next fortune. What? I didn't solve the problem, but I stood there in the middle of the square. Is that not solving the problem? Apparently it's not. We got energy unit. It was just lying there. Minding its own business. I could try. <laughs> oh 
don't know. I didn't try very hard. The spirit was willing, but the lungs were weak. It is difficult, after all, isn't it, to change one's very destiny? I guess we should. The fire is not yet started. Building is not on fire yet. It's closed. Hey, stop! Damn it! <sighs> Destiny changed. That took care of it. But who was that person responsible for the fire? So this is what it means to change the past. Sure, I will save some data. sure whether I'd find you. I'm sorry? Oh, oh, didn't I leave enough for the coffee? Oh, no, that was all right. Here, you forgot this. It is yours, right? Huh? It's such a gorgeous stone, like a jewel or something. It gives me a funny feeling to look at it. If you make it into a necklace, I bet it would look great on a lot of girls. Well, uh, this isn't mine. What? But, but I checked with the other customers. Hmm. Well, whose is it then? So, you came looking for me just to give me that? Um, uh, well, my shift's over anyway, and I thought maybe I'd just try looking around, see whether I could give it back. Oh, I almost forgot. What about this? Did I strike out on this one too? <laughs> no, this lighter is mine. Thanks. You're welcome. But I'm always the one running these kinds of errands. I feel so tired. You can't be tired from something that simple. Oh no, you can. You can. Lives are a lot tougher. Well, like me. <laughs> You're an interesting guy. My name's Ike. Hey, how about it? Should I make you a necklace with this red stone? I may not look it, but I'm pretty good with my hands. Really? Tomorrow. I'll make it for you tomorrow. Should I meet you at the coffee shop? Um, uh-huh. I'm there all day tomorrow. Great. I'll see you then, tomorrow. 
See, I'm making a promise to you that I'll meet you tomorrow. If that's the case, I can't d die today, because there's nothing stronger than the power of a promise. Oh no! My promise wasn't powerful at all! It looks like there's someone hiding behind a tree, and that someone is out to get you. Now, how do you suppose you can prevent that? Maybe if we burn the tree down in the past... Oh, you came back for the stuff you forgot. I made Dana go out to look for you. She said she'd try the town square. Sir? I have to look at this tree? I wasn't sure whether I'd find you. I'm sorry? Oh, Ma'am, I have to... I leave enough for the no, no I, we shouldn't be talking about that. I have to look at this... Here, you forgot this. this it is yours, right? There's an assassin? By the tree? Such a gorgeous stone, like a jewel or something. No, it's fun. That's... It gives me a funny feeling to look at it. I'm, I'm pr glad about your funny feeling. I bet it would look great on a lot of girls. It would look great on me, too. I don't know why you're assuming I can't wear that. What? But, but I checked with the other customers. Hmm. Well, whose is it then? So, you came looking for me just to give me that? Uh, well, my Ike, can... anyway, and I thought... Focus, Ike! Try looking around, see whether I could give it back. Ike, you have... I almost forgot. What about this? You were cons... Check out on this one, too? You are concerned about something. No, this lighter is mine. Thanks. Ike! You're welcome. But I'm always the one running these kinds of errands. Ike, you're gonna be killed! You know that! Something that simple. There's a lot of people out there whose lives are a lot tougher. <laughs> like me. <laughs> like me. I'm about to die in a few seconds. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> you're an interesting guy. My name's Ike. Hey, how about it? Should I make you a necklace with this red stone? I may not look it, but I'm pretty good with my hands. I can rip a phone book in half. You wouldn't know it by looking at me. Should I meet you at the coffee shop? Uh, uh-huh. I'm there all day tomorrow. Great. I'll see you then, tomorrow. Wait, hold on. Wasn't there something that was going to prevent me from seeing her tomorrow? But what was it? Oh, right, being murdered. Okay, we didn't get murdered. What can- what connection is there to me in this time? Uh... You have a nerve, my girl. Really? What with that one being punished yesterday, too? What is it that you don't understand? What's so difficult about being more quiet-like? Dressing above one's station is an offense, you know. Do you want to be punished? Like that woman? What's wrong with wearing what one likes? And this dress is one of my quieter ones. Really good ladies. You'd like to wear this kind of a dress yourself, wouldn't you? Well, I never. A little neighborly advice and she sasses me. All right, we'll have the law down here. That's right. You tell her. Oh, that's not very pleasant, is it? Come on, let's just let this pass. All right? Well then, 
In exchange for us not telling the law, you'll make us dresses for free. Right, that is. You're a seamstress, you are. That's right, you tell her. You'll make me one, too. Oh, dear. I don't see how I could do a thing like that. We're doing this just to be obliging. Whoa! What are you? Who are you? What's this? It's dark already. Get yourselves home, everyone. Fetch up! Oh, sir! This man just suddenly... I see now. It was you. This little girl called for help. Wicked little sly boot. Oh, the hussy. Sir, you must arrest her at once. What? Why should you think a thing like that? What's this now? What are you doing here? Uh... Hold it. Where do you think you're going? I was just gonna stumble around until I saw, like, an icon by a door. It's been what I've been doing so far. Hold it. Where do you think you're going? Okay, that just happens when I tap the analog stick. What's that for? Behold my magic flame! Lord Almighty! <laughs> Fire from his hand! Listen carefully. Stop bothering this woman and go home. If you do as I say, no harm will come to you. This time. But don't test me! Mr. Watchman, sir! This. And you will keep what happened here a secret. Understand? Yes. Everyone, give your word. I promise. Forgive us, please. Please! Hmm. Uh, will that be uh, all? If it is, uh, you could perhaps go away now. And everyone, go home too. Godspeed. <laughs> How we scared these primitives with my fire. Oh, thank you. You've saved me. But who are you? No, nobody you need to be afraid of. But enough about that. Did you see a girl? She's about your age. What? I'm about my age. Oh, that's not good. Look, why don't you stop by my house? It's right over there. We can stay out here, and you can tell me everything inside. Let me introduce myself. I'm Margaret. I'm Ike. Ike Kush. <laughs> I think I forgot that's his last name. <laughs> This is your place, I presume, because the icon, you know, what with the icon pointing at the door. Mother, I'm home. How are you feeling? I am all right today. There hasn't been a great deal of pain. Is someone with you? A guest? Wow! Would you look at those strange clothes? And he's so... saturated!
Isn't that right? Yeah, something like that. My, your friend's voice is remarkably like your father's. Hmm, do you think so? Where is father anyway? Closed up down there again. He won't come up, even with mother like this. It's all right, Hugo. I love your father better for doing what he believes in. Is that how it is? Hugo, you'll carry on after your father someday, won't you? I... I, I don't know yet. Well, maybe I'll just go take a peek. I wonder if father had his dinner yet. Hi, your, your legs, they don't make sense. Hey, please be careful with that. What is that? Uh, it's a machine, a really complicated one. It's, uh, well, I, I don't know how to explain it to you. Let me guess. It, it makes whatever dish you want appear? <laughs> no. Okay. That was just wishful thinking. Well, then... It maps the heavens? No, it doesn't do that. All right, then. It... I know! It lets you travel through time! Uh, and you've come from the future, am I right? Well, actually, uh... What? I'm right? How could that be? Uh, how is that possible? And is that why you've got such funny clothes on? Well... Uh... You... <laughs> Mother, are you alright? Hugo... Hugo, you ought not bother our guest so. I'm sorry. He's very curious about everything, just like his father. I suppose he'll become a scientist as well once he grows to be a man. I'm not interested in alchemy, at least not right now. How can I be when it can't even produce a medicine to make Mother well again? Perhaps not yet, but with time and effort, one never knows. I'm sure that's what your father believes, dear. So, your father's an alchemist, huh? Well, something like that. He makes medicine for people, and does stuff like mixing and grinding strange stones and metals. He's always doing that sort of thing. And I mean always, all the time. Hugo, dear. <laughs> Father's completely wrapped up in his experiments. I couldn't even get him to look my way. So what else is new? He's always staring at the kiln. He hasn't even noticed that I was born. Hugo, don't talk that way. You were looking for someone, weren't you? Tell me, what does she look like? Is this girl like your, you know? <laughs> no, it, it's, it's not anything like that. Uh, 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 mm? uh, uh, mm. I actually don't remember too well because I just met her, but she was blonde and had her hair tied back kind of high. And I think she was wearing something reddish. Ah, mm. uh, hmm. Uh, uh, mm, mm. Reddish, huh? Can't say I remember anyone like that. We're all just sepia toned here. Thank you very much. I guess I'll go look around. Thank you for everything. Oh, you're leaving already. It's dark outside, so be careful. Let me know if you find her. I'll keep an eye out. Tough luck, sis. Guess you're just not his type. Oh, what are you talking about? Well, goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Oh, no. I'm sorry I couldn't help much. See you soon, all right? All right. Well, it doesn't look like our thing is glowing. 
I mean, I guess it would probably be rude to, uh, to leave here this time period without finding the person who we uh, took with us. We probably should find out where she went. Probably. Are there any dogs in this time period preventing us from going places? So far, no. Hello? Haven't seen you around before. A woman? Don't know anything about that. If I don't get this seedling planted by the end of the day, the foreman will have a what for. Hey, could you not plant that? Doesn't... Like, it just would maybe help me if there wasn't a tree there at some point in the future. Just gonna. Squire's got the right to come and interrupt my work. Well, maybe I'm the squire. How do you know I'm not? What do you think you're doing? Only the squire's got the right to come and interrupt my work. But what would you say to this magic flame? What the? This, stop it! All right, I didn't scare him away. He's just like, hey, 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 don't do that. W -w what the? This Stop it. He's not that scared. Or maybe he's just very dedicated to his job. What do you think you're doing? Only the squire's got the right to come and interrupt my work. Well, maybe we can find the squire. It is closed now. Well, can we read our journal? Maybe I'll find something if I go back to the public square. Unfortunately, the guy who's planting the tree will only listen to someone who has the squire's crest. So, it doesn't really... It doesn't have to be the squire. It just has to be someone who steals the squire's crest. wonder if anything else is open... At the moment. Still, the potential solution to stop a murderer from hiding behind a tree and killing us is to go back in time and prevent the tree from ever having been planted is a unique one. Hello. The squire's manor is beyond that gate. The squire's crest? Come to think of it, the seal on the manor house is about to fall off. Everyone is saying how it ought to be repaired. You don't say. It is locked. Okay, so we're at the south. 
If we could get to the manor house, maybe we could find the thing that needs to be repaired, but no one has repaired it yet. Oh, we got, we got ladder. Hey, if I use a ladder to break in the, the trespass, you're not going to tell anyone, right? Well, maybe that didn't work. Is there another high place we should be looking to climb to? It is closed. Right. So have we seen like a high location that we might want to climb up to? that animation when I stood here and used it, but that animation just happened no matter where I used it. Let's just see. Huh? Hmm. Yeah, it seems like that's just, uh, it's just that he does that. Is there anything interesting happening around here? Uh -huh, there's a guy in the square planting a tree. No, I, I haven't seen anyone. How about the square? There may be someone there who can help. Well, uh, there's only one person there. And he's just like, no, no, I gotta plant this tree. Oh, wait. There's so, I mean, there is someone here, but... Can we talk to that person? Come to laugh at me like all the rest, have you? It's a terrible time we live in. You put on a pretty dress and they punish you. I thought the squire would be merciful, but... A blonde girl? I wouldn't know a thing about that. She wouldn't know a thing. Well, you might not know a thing, but do you fear the flame coming out of my hand? Yes, recoil at this unexplained phenomenon! Well, it seems like there's only two people in the square. There's Captured Girl and Tree Man. What do you think you're doing? Only the squire's got the right to come and interrupt my work. I don't suppose you might know what to do with this ladder. What do you think you're doing? Only the squire's got the right to come and interrupt my work. No comment on the ladder, I guess. Hmm? Hmm. Guess we can't use it to climb up to the second floor of City Hall. Just looking to see, is there anything that seems high up that one might say, hey. Maybe I want to go up there. So I was thinking like here, of course, to try to do something to get into the Lord's Manor, but it didn't work out like that. Hey, kid, what do you think of this flame? Holy. That's right. Holy flame. You want to take a look inside? Well, I've got the key. Oh, do you? Of course, I can't let you in for nothing. What have you got to trade? 
Well, what do we have to trade? My flame! Holy! He doesn't want that. You want a ladder? I don't want that. Don't you have anything else? You want this old map? Oh no, I guess I can't give him that. You want this postcard with a view of the city by Carl Franson? Well, all right. Yeah? Come on inside. I, I, he does want that. All right. So is that just right in front of us? Let me... Yeah, it is. I, can, can we look up? I don't think I can. I think I can only look left and right. Hmm? Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -uh. This magnificent plan is all coming together now. Well, sir, what have you to say to this? By the blessed Mary, this is the Squire's. What's this now? Yes, I have a message for you. The Squire doesn't want a tree here. What? Let's see. Oh, do we want flowers? Do we want a statue? I mean, the assassin could hide behind the statue in the present day. But flowers seem pretty harmless. Well, now. All right, then. If the squire says so, that's that. Guess I'll call it a day. <laughs> That's right. Change in time like it ain't nothing. There will be no consequences for doing this. And I guess we're leaving her behind. Never mind. I said it's rude to leave her to leave the girl behind that we took with us. Never mind about that. So Dana is somewhere back there in the past. Oh, what have I done to get her involved in this? I promise I'll find you. Please hang in there. Until then. Time for a smoke after a job well done. Yeah, I deserve this. Today is a good day to quit. I don't want to die. What, the tree still- oh, no, okay. I was about to say, the tree's still here? It is not. I will save data. So. Uh, I, I guess... Th we're... Okay, uh... We managed to avoid being murdered. But then it turned out, uh-oh, there's an assassin behind a tree. And then our solution to, to not be killed by the assassin behind the tree was to go back in time and prevent that tree from ever having been planted. So now there's just like a tiny little like monument and um, some flowers around it. And the murderer couldn't possibly hide behind that. Couldn't possibly do it. So every time we get murdered, we're going to come back, use time travel to make it impossible to get murdered in that way. And eventually, this murderer is going to run out of ways to kill us. Like, there's, there can only be a finite way to kill Ike Kush. And he's going to figure out 
what that number is. Just like, you know, th th there can only be so many licks to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop. You can only lick Ike so many times before you get to the his Tootsie Roll center. He's going to find out exactly how many times that is. And then maybe we'll find Dana? I don't, I don't see that there's a guarantee we'll find Dana. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully we find her. Like, she didn't ask for any of this. Uh, it just happened that she was too close to us. She was standing too close to us when we time traveled, and, you know, Ike didn't realize that would happen. Um, what a weird game so far. What a, what a weird game. Just, like, everything about it so far. Um, we're going to be continuing Shadow of Destiny. At that set, and we'll see what happens next. What is the assassin's next play? Now that the tree is gone, Ike is ready. Ike, I guess Ike is probably going to go talk to the fortune teller, right? Because I guess every time Ike avoids death and delays his de time of death, I guess he'll, he's going to go back to the fortune teller, and the fortune teller will tell him when is the next time that he's going to die, and then. We'll deal with that when we get there. I guess that's what's happening. So, we'll continue on with Shadow of Destiny or Shadow of Memories, whichever you want to call it. Call it either one. The further adventures of Ike Kush in his attempts not to die. <laughs>